we're going to talk to you today about why investigators shouldn't use manual focus. A lot of cameras like this one here, just not put on Canon, they're $299, they're great little backup cameras for an emergency, uh, but they have no manual focus functions. This particular camera is a 4K, $899, as you can see with the red circle, it has manual focus and a focal ring. This is ideal for a camcorder. And for a mirrorless camera, which is what we're shooting with in this video today, Sony A6000, great camera, nice lens on it. You can add extra lenses, uh, mirrorless camera, amazing quality, uh, easy to use. So using autofocus in the rain, I mean, turn the camera on, uh, it's raining out. There's a slight sheet of rain uh, covering the window. Haven't done anything, trying to focus. You can see from this video, that it's taking quite some time and finally we have a degree of focus. Uh, slow response leads to poor quality or no video at all. If your video is so poor quality, you're not gonna wanna show it to your client. Another example of here, of turning the camera on, and trying to get beyond the haze of the rain over the windshield or over the side window, uh, whichever be the case. But here's another great example of uh, how autofocus functions in the rain. Autofocus rain and windshield wipers. So in many instances you'll use your windshield wipers and it's a great tactic if you can get away with it. Uh, but again, autofocus will wreak havoc on your footage because autofocus will always want to focus on whatever is closest to the camera and it'll always have this interruption of video uh, making your video hard to see if not uh, usable at all. And again, you have another situation here where a car stops in front, and now the focal point may be that car in the background, your center focal point of your camera or your camcorder, but the autofocus is gonna jump back and forth between the closest object, and in this case, uh, the car that's parked in view of what would be or could be your subject or your subject's vehicle. So switching over to manual focus, using the rain and wipers, you can see I'll zoom beyond, no problem with the wipers, no problem whatsoever with any kind of interference, no focal issues. Uh, another car drives into view closer to you than your, your subject matter, in this case the car in the background, and no focal problems. Someone walks by with an umbrella, no focal problems. So this is what you want. Using manual focus is gonna reduce video and video quality. Back to autofocus. Another example of just turning the camera on and trying to capture an image. A vehicle drives up. Zoom out, zoom in again. Again, I'm not doing anything. This is a function of the camera, hence the term autofocus. So autofocus and chain link fence, very common. Here's an example of using autofocus, trying to get in, get through the fence, can't do it. The autofocus will not focus beyond that fence, which is the closest thing to it. And again, you're losing video potential, you're losing a crucial footage that someone's paying you for. Switching over to manual focus, same sequence, seconds later. Had to turn the camera off and switch to manual focus, but you know, this is what you get and you can see the focal ring coming in and out and, and getting a better focus. Back to autofocus. Again, for some of you who may not have experienced this before uh, or believe this video, this is autofocus. The, the, the autofocus cannot get beyond these obstacles. Therefore, uh, hence for the video, don't use autofocus cameras or don't use autofocus. And one more time, just for effect, back to manual focus. No problem. You know, it's not the greatest day, it's not the greatest light, but at the end of the day, you're able to obtain the video necessary. And one more, just for a reminder, staring at this fence, don't use autofocus. Thanks for your time.